Hello, can you see me? Hi, this is Christoph from CAD Dental. We are going to change the brushes on a handpiece today. So, just get ready here. Just got a flathead screwdriver handpiece. I'm going to use one of these uh, implant screwdrivers. Just a little miniature, you could use an uh, eyeglass repair kit for that. Work the same probably. So I'm just going to remove this little tiny screw. Be careful not to let this get away from me too far. It will be hard to see. So unscrew that. Pull this plug out. There's a positive and negative in there. Put it back the same way we had it before. Inside of here, you see there's a little flat head screwdriver notch. We're gonna open this up here and unscrew this. This is where the house this is a housing for the brushes, and it's not like a typical brush that you normally see. This is a carbon brush. Has something to do with the electrical output inside the motor. So take out the screw. And I grab my little tools here. Take out this, and look at that. It's empty. That means the carbon brush, which should look like a piece of carbon from a lead pencil. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. I got some dust and fiber there. Uh, I am going to make my own here. And I'm using it from a different housing from another unit. There we go. Please ignore the background noise. We're in a dental lab here. It's a bit noisy. We have to work. Here. piece of graphite carbon. Just gonna carve this by hand, making it two by two millimeters wide. blade here. Okay. So we got a nice little piece. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just got a nice little square two by two, let's hope it is. Piece. Check the measurement here. Yeah, two. Two by two. I'm gonna make it a little smaller just to so that it fits in my. I have to match them, but this is more yellow. All right. Now. Take the housing. Uh, this appears to be a little bit. 
good. So we can do it right. I'm gonna shave it down some more. And just so it'll fit in there. Definitely it's not a little bit loose. We don't want it tight. We don't want it you see it has a little spring inside of here. That you can take out and check out if you want. Yeah. Just leave it right there actually. I don't wanna I don't wanna mess with it too much. I don't need it bouncing all over the lab, it's really small. Any idea how so, make this put that right there. Maybe if I put more glaze, it will kind of mask a little bit of the yellow, right? This is the big stuff. Let me try that first. Do you think purple will help? Oh, a little bit big. Just using edges of the housing to kind of carve it down. Alright, now we got it in. See it? It's kind of loose like that. And push it back in here into place. And then I'm just gonna screw it all back together. It's pretty easy. Normally this would cost probably $120 just to have a repair done on it. But we can just do it at home here, or at the lab. We've got lots of screws. Here we go. These things are pretty small, so hard to spot. Best to try to keep an eye on them. Put that back in there. There we go. Sure it's nice and tight, not too tight. I don't have to crank it down or anything, I'm just just tight enough. And we'll put it back together. And I have a positive on the outside and a negative on this side. Put it snap back in place. Screw this back on. And look at that little little tiny screw bit right there. Put that back into place. And use our eyeglasses repair kit to put that back in. Or else you can use the one of the implant drivers. This is a functioning dental lab. I am a denture denture technician, so I need these tools working. Really good. Let's turn it on and see how that works. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. Put it on reverse. Sounds pretty good. Alright, well, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Thank you.